Okay, so Gubana means road? Gubana, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's from the part of Italy that has a lot of Slavic influence. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding yeast to some warmed milk, and we're making a little sponge because it helps this to get rising quickly. And you can see the difference here. This is the sponge that we just mixed up. This is the risen one. Mm -hmm. So, Marianne, if you'll scrape that into the mixer bowl, yes. it takes about an hour to go from yeah. this Look to that. Look at how fluffy that is. Okay, so All we're right. going to continue with the dough then, and okay, into in. the mixer bowl. And I usually like to get this started out by hand. Okay, you don't put this under the uh, mixer no, right I now. No, I just kind of stir everything together. Okay, so and what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of eggs and a couple of yolks. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of sugar mm -hmm. and some grated lemon zest. Mm -hmm. That looks great. Mm -hmm. A little bit of vanilla extract. We were talking about this before. Vanilla. I always like okay. to add a lot. A piacere, see? See. Si. Si. Okay. And then um, flour. All of that? All of that. You measured that previously? I previously measured it. Once the flour is pretty worked in, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is that looks good. We're going to throw in the salt. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add the butter. Okay. And then we're going to put that on there with the dough hook. Mm -hmm. And we're going to resume. While that's mixing up, we're going to kind of jump ahead to the rest of the process. Okay. Finely chopped walnuts, but not ground, okay. not pureed to death. Do in you the toast food them first? Lightly toasted. Okay. These are plain dry bread crumbs that are sautéed in butter. Okay. Yellow raisins. Mm -hmm. Golden raisins. Yeah, we have a lot of filling here. Okay. Candied orange peel. Mm -hmm. And the best to make your own, right, Nick? Yeah, uh, or buy it from a place that has really delicious tasting candied orange peel. Mm -hmm. Some brown sugar and egg. Rum is optional. If you're going to be serving it to kids, you definitely don't want to add okay, the rum. Okay, so there's your mixture. But since we have a real adult population here at Chow Italia, <laughs> huh? We'll add, we'll add some rum. Okay. So, uh -huh. excuse me for reaching in front of you, yeah. but I'm just going to take now, is and this show everybody the dough. Okay. From this point, it should go into a bowl covered with plastic wrap and it should ferment until it rises until double. And then what I like to do, and I'm kind of skipping that because the shaping of this is something that's really important. After you went from mixing to the covered bowl and having it rise until it's double, then what I do is press it out on a floured pan. And what that does is it allows us to really fill the dough very easily. So I'm gonna just Shake this out onto our floured board. Here we go. I think it'll do that. Very good. Okay, okay. nice and fluffy, yeah, isn't definitely. it? Yeah, definitely. And that's been resting for a while. It has. Uh, you you can like use six o'clock this morning. Okay, go ahead. I got up earlier though. <laughs> anyway. Um, you can use a rolling pin, but I think you can see. Yes. You know what, Marianne? Right there, all of it. Dump. Okay. Now, is this the traditional filling? Yes, for it this? is. Okay. And in fact, there are some Gubana recipes around that I've seen. There's one crazy recipe kicking around that's got eight different kinds of liqueur in it. Wow. And I said to myself, mm -hmm. you know, Gubana is traditional. The area in Friuli that's near the town that's called Udine. Udine, yes, Udine. Beautiful I'm, I'm... old town. And the epicenter of the Gubana making is a town called Cividale, which is an old, old Roman town. All right, so okay. now we so have Now, this. normally I would roll it this way, you but would. because you're looking... Uh-huh. The other way. Now, I'll do this it is, like seems this. like a lot of filling for this amount of it dough. It is. It is. It's a good amount of filling. You know why? If you don't have enough filling, the guavana is going to be lethally boring. Okay. Well, it's we don't be, want that. It's going to be all dough and no fun, okay, you know? Okay, yeah. Okay, so now here we have a choice Gorgeous. of pans. Okay. And then we'll put it in. So you have a spring form? This is what I usually pan? use. It's... They call these cheesecake pans, mm -hmm, actually. Mm -hmm. Three inch deep layer okay. pans, nine inches. Mm -hmm. This is a regular nine inch spring form pan. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get the 
pan center stage there. And then I'm going to coil this around. On itself. Okay, good. And then I'm going to tuck the bottom under a little bit. Yeah. And then plop. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to do. If there are some little spaces, you don't have to worry don't, about it'll, it. As it rises, it'll... Right. Okay. Now, here in the spring form pan, because it's a little bit less deep than the pan I usually use, you want it to come right to the top. Okay. And then it goes in at 350 degrees. Takes about an hour and fifteen minutes. I would think so it because of all that very, filling. Yeah, exactly. The mm -hmm. fruit really acts as kind yeah. of an insulator, mm -hmm. so it sort of keeps some of the dough from baking through really efficiently. Mm -hmm. And um, the really, we said that before with the with the Colomba. The only way to tell is to stick a thermometer in there. Two hundred instant read thermometer. Mm -hmm. One ninety is fine okay. for this, mm -hmm. but because of all the fruit too. Mm -hmm. But you still have you have to be very careful. I remember the first few times I tried the recipe 30 something years ago and that's what happened to yeah. me. It looked wonderful on the outside. I cut into it and there was a nice big piece of dough tartare in the okay. middle. Okay, right. so now do you need to put any kind of a wash on this? Don't do Nothing. that. But what, what I sometimes do to finish it off, and I think it looks really nice and very appetizing, paint it, at, let it cool. Paint it with melted butter and then sprinkle granulated sugar all over, okay. even on the sides. And, and it looks really, it, it, if it gets a little dark, that's a good hint, okay. too.